As you all know, when you are writing KVL equation, you need to trace the path of the closed path in order to write the equation. So in this case, let us say this is one path since this is one mesh. So let us mark in the clockwise direction. Say we are going to trace the path in this direction. Okay. Similarly, while writing the KVL for the second mesh, again we are going to move in the clockwise direction. So let us mark this in the clockwise direction. So if you see the orange mark represents the KVL path that we are going to traverse while writing the KVL equation and the green here arrows indicate the path that we are going to travel while writing the equation for the second mesh. How do you write the KVL equation now? Since in this case the direction in which we are moving this through this voltage source is from negative to positive. That means there is a voltage rise. And whenever there is a voltage rise, you can assume the voltage drop to be positive. So here, since uh, we are moving from negative to positive, this we can write it as plus 5. Come to the next element. Now here, if you see, the current when it reaches here through this 3 ohm resistance, and the direction in which we are moving, the direction in which we are moving is same as the direction of this current through this 3 ohm. So you can consider the drop across this 3 ohm to be negative. So we can write here by applying Ohm's law, we know voltage is equal to current into resistance. So what is the current that is flowing through this 3 ohms? It is I1. And since the direction in which we are moving is similar to the direction of the current, we are going to write it as minus 3 into I1. Now let us come to the third element that is present in mesh 1. If you see this 2 ohm resistor, it is common to mesh 1 as well as mesh 2. As a result of which, there are two currents flowing through this 2 ohm resistance. I1 is flowing in the downward direction and I2 is flowing through the upward direction. So how do we write the voltage drop across this 2 ohms by following the Kirchhoff's voltage law? Now since the direction of I1 matches with the direction in which we are moving when we are considering mesh 1, the drop across this can be written as minus 2 I1. And at the same time, you have a current I2 flowing through this 2 ohm resistance. And since the direction in which we are moving through 2 ohm resistance is opposite to the direction of this current, so the drop across this 2 ohms because of this current I2 can be considered to be plus 2 I2. So this can be written as, suppose we take minus 2 common, this can be written as I1 minus I2. So the same thing can be written in this equation. So this can be written as minus 2 into I1 minus I2 